Scorpio, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early to mid-September 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we can dip our toes into energy and see what's happening for Scorpio gang. I hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going. My guides, talk to me. What do you got for us Scorpios here in early to mid-September? What energies, messages, insights can we take a little peek at? And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. At the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Scorpio. What do you got for us, my gods? Let's get this first card out nice and quick so we can get this reading underway. Oh, very sharp, very logical. Okay, so I like this card, even though the imagery is kind of funny with that monkey there, like doing all the contemplating. I feel like this is a highly intelligent type of energy and card like seeing something very clearly it reminds me of the ace of swords and there's a very strong uh, mental fortitude here now before we fully dive into that if you're new here i'll be speaking about the september subscriber surprise towards the end so you might want to check that out and also if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye you know i'd greatly appreciate it but enough of the promo into the reading let's talk more about this card so again funny bit of imagery we see this monkey there dressed up as shakespeare holding a skull contemplating its life it's in front of a typewriter there's all sort of equations and mathematics and binary code in the background so to me this is a highly intelligent type of energy so whether it's your mind seeing things very clearly seeing things sharp if you're cross watching like this is really not the time to try to pull one over on a Scorpio when this energy is in the mix. Now, it does also have a challenging aspect as well, although there is a certain intelligence to it and a mental fortitude. This can also be someone that's thinking a little too harshly, just like the Ace of Swords. Now, whether you're looking at something in a pessimistic way, you might need to lighten that mood a little bit when this card is here, because it's like, I'm looking at the facts, I'm looking at it, what it is, I'm not taking anything else into account, everything is right there, black and white, clear as crystal type of energy, so it's coming through strict, that's what I'm going to say about this, so you might need to soften your edge on something here. So we're just going to put that monkey down right there. Again, for another portion of you, there might be certain things you're considering cutting out of your life as well when that's there. But we're just going to leave it as is. Let's get into tarot. And I always say the first card here doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. So let's get you three cards in the upright. Then we'll get into that intuitive juiciness. Shuffle it up one time here for Scorpio gang. What do you got for us, my gods? And while we get this shuffled up and ready to go, let's talk about last week's reading. Um, very intriguing energy last week. The reading was titled A Big Rejection. And what I was picking up for the most part was whether that be an individual or a behavior or a situation in general, there's something where it's like, uh, no thanks, like putting up a wall. Okay, so just know that that energy could still be prevalent in the coming days and weeks. There might be certain things where you're like, yeah, you're just playing defense in one way or another. So let's see what shows up this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you. Because we could be seeing your vibe or someone that you're linked to. Let's get it going. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's get three cards out for Scorpio, please. Early to mid-September. Thank you. Okay, three wands. What you got in the works there, my friends. I don't know why I'm getting, like, with that first Oracle card, now this, I'm getting a very strategic type of energy here. So whether that's coming from your end or somebody else's, we're just going to have to really see how the cards fall. Let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more. Full card, yeah, putting something into motion. This is good. This could be very, very good, depending. Let's get one more out, and we'll piece it together. What's happening with Scorpio? It's more Mars energy. We're comfortable with that. Queen of Wands. Lots of all fire here, Scorpio. Which, again, I mean, we are a water sign. Our general com comfortable area is water. But we could also vibe with a little bit of fire, right? Uh, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and Mars, which is a very fiery energy. But let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes. Then we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. But at first look, first glance, I do just want to mention, once again... That it's all fire energy. I always look at the elements first. So with the three of wands, the fool card, the queen of wands, it's like just very fiery. Now that could be good for action, moving things forward, making things happen. There's a certain gusto to this energy, but at the same time, fire can be very unpredictable. 
All right, it could be very volatile and explosive. And I've been seeing it around a lot of signs this week. There's been so much fire energy and unpredictability. So you might wanna be a little cautious here, but I also get this plan-based energy. So we're gonna to have to see how it all plays out. Let's go through piece by piece and really start to build on this. So position number one, we are starting with the three of wands. Now, I always say this card, you see the person, they're waiting. So for some of you, you might be in waiting mode in regards to something, whether it's waiting to hear something back, whether it's waiting to see how something's going to go. There's a certain observation going on with this card. Now, I also say this often shows up when something is just within reach, where something's about to go down, something's about to happen, just not quite yet, but it's coming. Okay, It's a big card of manifesting and creating as well. Also links into travel and distance. But to me, I usually link the two of wands to strategy. I don't know why when this card popped out, it already started giving me that vibe. Like, all right, well, what do you got in the works? Whether it's yours or somebody else's, I feel a certain level of planning happening. Okay. And there's intention to move forward with some sort of plan as well. It's like, all right, well, I, I said, I planned it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to follow through with it. So we'll talk about it. Now, when we get to the challenge of the three of wands, it could represent delays, it could represent problems, it could represent an energy that feels a little uh, stuck. So we're gonna have to really clarify it. Now, moving to the full card, love it. The very first of the major arcana, Aries energy. Now, I always say Aries and Scorpio do have a lot of similarities. And I don't just say that because I have Scorpio and Aries in my chart. They're both energies that are ruled by Mars. And although Scorpio is a fixed sign, we like a certain sense of predictability. Um, there's also big action to be found because Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto. That's ever, uh, that's never ending change type of energy. It's all action. So the full card fits the bill. Uh, when I see the full, if you're not connected to an Aries, it's starting a new journey, a new adventure, or just making a move, making something happen. That's why when I see it coming off this planning, it's like, all right, well, I have a plan and I intend on making it happen, or I intend on following through with it. The full card is usually very jovial, lighthearted, and happy, but it is of that fire element, and the challenging side of this full card is the unpredictability. Notice the fool is always about to walk off the cliff there. So in this time, maybe a cautious approach might be necessary. If not, I mean, this is someone that's about to go through with something. And I feel like it's okay. It's not getting me super cautious or anything like that. I just feel like we need a little more detail. Now, moving to the back end, we have the Queen of Wands, another card that initially on its face is very positive. So the Queen of Wands fire energy might be connected to an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If that's not the case, we think of self-confidence when she shows up. I think of beauty, aesthetics, like when I see the Queen of Wands, if it's not a person you're linked to, to me, it's like, wow, that's just a very confident, sexy type of energy. So for Scorpio gang in this time, you might have that fire burning within you. You might be feeling pretty damn good about yourself, or it could also be the opposite. Maybe you're beating yourself up a little too much. Either way, self-confidence and how one views themselves is at play when we see this Queen of Wands, but she is also the energy of one's internal combustion as well. And just like with these other cards, when we're looking at the challenging aspect of her, it's a little unpredictable. You don't know what it's going to do. You don't know where it's going to go. It's got that explosiveness to it. So we're absolutely going to want to look into this further. But the way the energy flows, where we go from plan to action to result, that's kind of what this feels like to me. It's like, okay, I plan, I do, I happy. <laughs> if that makes sense. So I want to dive deeper on all of it, Scorpio. Let's do it. Let's jump in and clarify. Let's see what's up here with Scorpio. Please, my guides, talk to me. What is happening with Scorpio gang? What's going on? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation. And I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that three of wands. What is going on with that three of wands? Oh, and yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Scorpio, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay, three of wands time. What's happening? Is it here? Thank you. Oh, yeah. This is someone that has every intention of like doing what they say. So I'm going to tell you this, Scorpio. If there is someone that you've been conversing with or talking with, um, I, I feel like, all right, well, you could trust this person with their word. Like if they say they're going to do something, they're probably going to do it, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. I see the five of swords underneath the three of wands. 
I'm still absolutely getting this plan-based energy. So maybe that's you. Maybe there's something you're planning on doing and you have every intention of following through. But if that's somebody else, it's the same deal. Now, why? Because they want to. Like That's kind of the energy I'm picking up here. The Five of Swords can be very harsh. I will also say this. Now we're getting some air, the fire air, very explosive energy, like I've been saying throughout the whole thing. But the Five of Swords has positives, but a lot of challenges. For some people, it could represent an individual that is... A little selfish, it could represent narcissistic individuals as well. So if you've had dealings with people like this, you might want to keep your guard up. Um, it could be confrontational as well. So like that's kind of what I'm picking up here. It's like either someone's planning their way around the pushback and conflict or the positives of this. There's a determination to see something through and the positive too, it's a self-focus. I'm going to do this because it's right for me. I'm going to do what's right for me type of energy so again when we have this planning here in the front end whoever this is i would believe what they say because they have every intention on following through okay take that for what it's worth now for some of you that could be a situation that's already happened for some of you this could be something that comes up in a couple of days just take people at their word that's the one thing i would say like if, if they say it assume that they mean it like that's coming through in a very strong way but again the strategy the planning and it's i don't want to say it's self-serving but it's because it's something that they want Okay, there's no, uh, I don't think, feel like there's any moral high ground here. Like this isn't somebody planning something to help the world. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's see what the fool has to say, because now we're going to get into the realm of action. Very peculiar stuff, Scorpio. So why is the fool card here? Let's see what the action has to say. Okay, so now... An energy I've seen for you for a few weeks, we have the fool with the world in reverse. Okay, a big energy of returning, and I literally saw this for you like four or five weeks ago, and I've been seeing it for a lot of signs. Whenever the world shows up in reverse, it's like repeating of a cycle. Um, this isn't somebody reinventing the wheel. This is somebody that's going to do something similar to what they've already done. Um, like, I feel like this is something that you could expect because it's like, okay, well, I've seen this before. Like, you're, you're not surprising me. It's like, I've, I've been through this. I've seen this before. I don't know why it's coming through like that. Now, for a portion of you, if that's not the case, when I see the fool and the world in reverse, this can absolutely represent something returning quickly, especially with all this fire air mixture, like something swinging back around. So whether it's a situation that flares back up, but this is an individual that pops back in, there is some sort of energy returning here. But again, with the world, in reverse, like this energy is moving, but it's not at the same time. So I don't feel like anything really catching you off guard in this time. I feel like it's something that you might expect. Okay? And if we are talking about action, I don't feel like this is bashful. Again, I feel like this energy is going to move forward. Okay, so do, do with that what you will. We're just going to keep moving over to the Queen of Wands. I feel like for the main thing, this isn't something that's going to surprise you. It could be something that you've already experienced, if that makes sense. Okay, or experience something similar. Let's move over to the Queen of Wands. It doesn't feel fresh or new. Like, I feel like you already have eyes on it or you, you expect it, which I think you should with what I've been seeing. So let's go in on that Queen of Wands. Let's see what she has to say. Then we'll do a quick little recap before we get into the shadow. So why is the Queen of Wands here for my Scorpios? Thank you. King of Pentacles. Good. So this could have a good outcome, possibly. Now, for a portion of you, if you're connected to an Earth sign, this is simply them just showing up here in a very powerful way. And the one thing that I do like is that the last card is Earth, which does ground it down, which means whatever it is that's been showing up, there's not a permanence to it, and the energy will settle. So there is improvement here. That's the one thing I will say. Now, the King of Pentacles is usually very abundant, filled with blessings. So I do feel this working to your benefit in one way or another. Okay, so whether this person's doing something self-serving or even you, right? Like sometimes you have to look out for yourself. Sometimes you need to do what's right for you. This doesn't always have to be worst case scenario. If that's the case, I feel a positive result, okay? Either way. Now, the King of Pentacles is very sturdy, very firm, very set in its way of thinking. And that's something I'm picking up here throughout this whole entire reading. Like I would believe what people say in this time. Um, I, if they say they're going to do something, they're probably going to do it. And I feel like you would expect it as well. So it's the most peculiar thing. But the King of Pentacles underneath this Queen of Wands, like this person is very, they're going to feel great about what they do. 
So hopefully, like, if this is a good thing, is if this is something you're moving towards, there's a contentment here where it's like, okay, that that went according to plan. That went just how I wanted it to go. So again, whether you or somebody else, you just take it for what it's worth. But I feel someone being very content with how something went down. Okay, whether that's for good, bad, or indifferent. Let's go through and do a quick recap here, Scorpio, because as usual with all of our readings, there's a lot of layers here. So only take what hits for you. But if you kindly look in the box, position number one, we have the three of wands with the five of swords. Now, I did say with all this fiery energy throughout the whole thing, there's a certain unpredictability to it. But I feel like even with that being said, you kind of know what you could probably know what's coming. But the three of wands with the five of swords in the upright, trust what people say. If they say they're going to do something or they say they feel a certain way, believe believe it. But there's a huge energy of planning and somebody fully intending on going through with whatever this plan might be. Now, I do feel like it can benefit you in the long run, which is really nice. But moving to the center, we have the full card with the world in reverse. Now, there is this energy returning where it's like, yeah, I kind of saw that coming. I knew that was going to happen type of vibe. Another thing I'm picking up here is like it, it doesn't feel I'm not saying it's predictable, but it, there's something that doesn't shock you. So whatever actions, whatever action this is, there's kind of like a roadmap where it's something you've experienced or done before. It's not new territory. That's a good way to put it. Moving to the back end, we have the Queen of Wands with the King of Pentacles in the upright. So unless you're connected to an earth sign here or a fire sign, to me, this is a huge energy of someone feeling very content and happy with the result and how something went. So it's like we have plan, action, results. And I feel like someone's going to be very happy with how something went down. OK, so just take that for what it's worth. I'm not trying to invoke any wrath or anything here. I just feel like somebody being content with how it went down. So please take a screenshot if you want to look into it further by yourself, my friends. Let's get into the shadow card, though. See if we could get a little more detail here. What do we have? Another thing I want to say, like for a lot of you, there could be a journey that's not done just yet. Um, there's still more journey to be had because I'll mention this. The full card is the first major arcana. The world is the last. So when I see the world in, in reverse, it's like, no, there's something that's not quite over just yet. There's something like the journey is still to be had. Like you still need to have a journey. But yeah, let's get this shadow card out here. And yes, if you made it to this point in reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel. And I have much love for all my channel members. Okay, let's get this out here. What's going on in the shadows for Scorpio? What is happening? Thank you. Okay, the magician making something happen. Big card manifesting. So it makes sense to me that we lead off with a card of manifesting in the three of wands. And even within the shadows, we have this magician. So this is a card of control when you really boil it down. Somebody that wants to control their way forward, control their life. And how something's going to go so it makes sense when i had all this planning showing up here and it makes sense it's like we have a double down of this energy world where spirits like reminding us about it the magician yes create visualize and take action for what you want this could really just be the boiled down version of the message but at the same time there's certain things in life that we can't control, whether we want to or whether we don't. There's always going to be certain things and angles that are outside of our realm, outside of our hands. Okay, And I think accepting that fact is very important. Now you kind of just need to go with the flow. Another thing I will say about the magician, watch out for uh, weird, funky, dark energies and stuff like that, whether it's coming from other people or otherwise protect yourself energetically when I see this in the shadows, because that could represent some dark energy. But we're not fully going to walk down that road. I mean, just keep yourself locked down. And yeah, Scorpio, that's what I have for you this week, my beautiful friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the September subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can check out my digital calendar at my website, mastermetaphysics.com. But for the September subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of one of my favorite decks of all time, the beautiful Wizard's Tarot. It's gorgeous and it works great. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments, where would you like to go for your dream vacation? What are you manifesting? Let me know. Let's bring it to fruition. You'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in the community tab. As always, my friends, much love. And I'll see you again.